Hey guys, it's Melanie. Happy Monday. Welcome back to another Mask Monday. Today we're going to be talking about an overnight mask from COSRX and we're going to be chatting about the low pH overnight mask from this brand. This is the packaging that you're going to get it in. So it's a really nice tube. Um, it's a plastic tube and um, uh, I really like this packaging a lot. I think that all of the packaging of all of the things that I've tried from COSRX um, has been really nice. I do think that packaging is important. I like when things come in either airtight containers or pumps. I just feel like the less that you are exposing a product to air, the better. Um, but a lot of what we get comes in jars, which not my personal favorite, but most skincare you should be using up within six to 12 months anyway. And typically if you're using it up within that time frame, it, packaging shouldn't be that much of an issue. But anyway, I appreciate the packaging. I have tried multiple things from COSRX, my personal favorite being their snail mucin. You guys have heard me mention that multiple times on my channel. By the way, it's really sunny today, so I'm kind of contending with the sun coming in here. Um, so the snail mucin is definitely a favorite of mine, and I really have been enjoying this. I actually ended up with this particular product because my friend Susan, um, she sends me her famous uh, Lebkuchen cookies every Christmas, and she'll typically toss in a few skincare things that she wants me to try, and this was one of the things that she put in my package this year. So um, I really appreciate her doing that because I've actually been meaning to pick this up and test it out myself, but have just kind of kept putting it off. Um, this is a really nice overnight mask, you guys, and it's super gentle. We'll talk about the ingredients and all that stuff, um, but let me give you guys the, um, the price point, the amount, and all of that. Let's just get that stuff out of the way. So um, you can find uh, COSRX. I typically buy it from Ulta. It's also available through Amazon. There's obviously a COSRX website. It's a Korean skincare brand. Um, so it's available in several different places. I'll link a few down below for you. Um, this retails for $22. So I think a very fair price point, especially given the amount that you're getting and the amount that you use, which is not a lot. A little bit goes a long way. So it does uh, come in this tube, which is 1.69 ounces. COSRX says that the COSRX low pH BHA overnight mask reveals soft skin overnight by dissolving dullness, blackheads, and whiteheads. Um, as you sleep, 0.9% BHA, so very low concentration of BHA, helps to treat and prevent breakouts while visibly brightening discoloration and uneven skin tone. Great for acne prone and oily skin, this resurfacing cream mask restores skin's moisture while gently balancing the skin. Some of the ingredients that were appealing to me personally were, um, there is a Sika in this, so Centella Asiatica leaf water is actually the first ingredient in here. Um, there's also sunflower oil in here, there's glycerin, panthenol, so some good kind of hydrating ingredients to nourish the skin. There is also some palm kernel oil in here, some beeswax. Um, a little further down on the ingredient list is lactic acid, so you're also getting a little bit of lactic acid in here. Also niacinamide and then tea tree oil as well. I will say there's no added fragrance in here, but this does have a scent to it. And really the main scent that I get is that um, tea tree oil smell. If you don't like the smell of tea tree oil, you might still be okay with this because the scent or the, the smell of it dissipates pretty quickly. Um, as soon as I rub this into my skin, it's, it's fine. Like I don't smell it anymore after that. It's not like I go to bed and just breathe tea tree oil all night. So, um, but if it is a concern for you, might want to skip it. So again, this is a very low concentration of beta hydroxy acid, which means that it's going to be very gentle. Um, because of that, I think this would be really great for someone with a sensitive skin type to start out with. Um, if you are interested in getting BHA, just because people have sensitive skin doesn't mean that they, they don't deal with things like blackheads and um, other types of breakouts like 
pimples or whiteheads. Um, beta hydroxy acid for me has been the best option to keep blackheads at bay. I'm pretty lucky in that unless I use a product that j my skin hates, like I typically don't break out. I am 41, so I'm kind of past that like teenage phase of my life by a long time. <laughs> I, I just don't break out a whole lot anymore, so that's really nice. But I have enlarged pores, which I have been struggling with blackheads with my entire life. And so for me, I really use beta hydroxy acid to keep blackheads as well as sebaceous filaments to a minimum. Um, so overall, I feel like this is a really great product for basically most skin types to be able to use unless you have super delicate skin, in which case you should probably be consulting a dermatologist for the most ideal routine for you. If your skin is that sensitive, you might want to be seen about it um, if, if you don't have a good routine that already works for you. But I don't know with delicate skin that I would experiment with a whole lot. You people know who you are. <laughs> My skin is super tough. Um, I can use a myriad of things and it has very little effect on my skin in terms of like reaction and things like that. Um, the texture of this product is nice. It is just kind of a thick gel cream type texture. It absorbs very easily and quickly into the skin. I use a pea-sized amount. Um, and that does my entire face and I even start to kind of bring it down onto my neck. And the way that I use this in my routine, so the nights where I'm using this, I will wash my face, I will use a toner, some nights I don't use a toner, um, I will use maybe a liquid exfoliant, so maybe the Kate Somerville Exfolicate um, treatment that I am trying to work through or my Paula's Choice 2% BHA and then I will let that kind of soak into my skin. I might put on um, my Paula's Choice uh, Niacinamide whether it's the new 20% or the 10% which I have loved for years and then I will put this on and then I'll actually just kind of leave it at this. I find this pretty emollient and I don't find that I need a moisturizer on top of this. So I try to use very little and have this be basically the main thing in the routine. Sometimes I will just wash my face, I'll use my toner and then I put this on and that's it. And then I go to bed. When I wake up in the morning, I do find that my skin is very soft. I do think that this helps with some surface surface exfoliation, although it's very gentle, very gentle, almost a little too gentle for my liking. Um, I'm pretty hardcore with my skincare at this point, so gentle products, while I appreciate them, um, I like things that have a little bit more oomph. <laughs> But again, this might be good for someone who is just starting out with skincare, someone who has more sensitive skin, someone who has a drier skin type. This would be perfect for you. Um, but yeah, so I wake up in the morning, I have that smoother looking skin. My skin feels very soft, it feels hydrated. Um, I do think because it has beta hydroxy acids in it that it is going to inhibit the um the clogging of my giant pores um i think it's a good product you guys i really think it's worth trying especially maybe if you are just starting to get maybe a teenage daughter into a skincare routine this is something that i would totally sell is not at that age she is about to turn eight in february so we're still a little ways off from really starting any type of like routine right now i just make her wash her face <laughs> Some nights she does, she goes to bed without washing her face, but I'm trying to train her to at least every morning and night um, begin and start her day by washing her face. I think that's a very good habit for even a five or a six year old to get into the habit of. Just kind of wash the grime off from the day, right? Um, but when she gets to her teenage years, based on what her father's skin was like and what I know my skin was like, Girlfriend's probably going to have a few issues. Um, and COSRX is totally a brand, um, along with Derma E, that I would 
be happy to get her started with in terms of like a nice basic routine. And this is something that I would totally give to like 12 year old Stella in the future. I think it's very gentle. I think it's a good way to prevent issues from starting um, and to treat issues very gently um, for someone who is just starting out with a skincare routine. So overall, all that being said, two thumbs up for this product. I think it's good. I think it's a really good product. I think the price point is good. I think it's readily available at Ulta, so it's an easy thing to pick up. And I will continue to use this until it's done. It's good for my lazy nights. I just wash my face, do a little bit of toner, slap this on, go to bed, and I know that I'm good to wake up the next morning with smooth, clear, even looking skin. So have you used this particular overnight mask from COSRX? Leave your thoughts in the comments down below. I will of course link this in the description box so if you would like to go read up more about it you'll know where to where to do that research. Um, yeah and let me know if you have any questions. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch. A big thanks to my beloved Susan for the delicious cookies which I'm now in the process of working off because I almost ate all of them by myself. <laughs> um, but I've already thanked Susan and I sent her a little Christmas gift as well. So anyway, thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch. I will see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.